It's Friday, we made it through the week. Hello friends, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. To anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Alita and I share prophetic words that the Lord gives me through dreams. I also share, um, I also teach basically on how to interpret dreams. So if you are interested in learning how to interpret your own dreams, you can catch those episodes on Tuesdays. Okay, friends, let's get into um, the word. But before that, of course, the disclaimer. Please, please, please note that not every prophetic word is meant for everyone. This word t today is very specific. Um, it's meant for certain people. It's not for everyone. So if it resonates with you um, and you're hearing it for the first time, but it still resonates with you, it hits deep. <laughs> My son likes to say, oh, that hit different. <laughs> if it hits different. <laughs> Um, take it before the Lord. Ask Him to confirm the word to you. Don't act on just one word. You have to get confirmation from the Lord. I've learned in my many years on this Christian walk, I've learned to always just wait when I hear something once or twice even. I just wait. Um, I've found that when the Lord is speaking to me, He just brings confirmation from so many different sources on the same thing. And then I know this is God speaking. So it's so important that you get that confirmation, right? And um, also, taking it to the Lord builds that relationship with Him. You should always have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with Him. It's so important. For some of you, this may be confirmation of something the Lord has already been speaking to you about which is awesome, it's lovely. Still take the word before him. Let him give you your directions, your instructions that are specific to you because everyone is different. We're not all the same, we're not meant to be, so you've gotta get um, more information from him. You have to ask him to answer the questions that you may have around this word. And it's so important, guys. Sometimes I get questions like, um, or comments like, um, you know, the last uh, five videos that you did were meant for me, but this one is confusing me. And it's like, well, maybe this one is not meant for you. So you've got to remember that not every word I put out is for you. Um, that's also another key thing. Okay, so let's get into the dream. I had this dream on May 23rd. Yesterday, I shared a dream that I had on May 23rd. And as I was listening to the recording, um, I was like... Um, recording I started the recording and I was like I think this dream is connected to the previous one so I had those two dreams and they are connected so in yesterday's um, word I spoke about how you are the new thing it is you that's going to enter into this career this industry uh, that you may have tried to enter before that was close to you before where you just weren't able to get very far before and you are going to be the difference you're going to be the one that's going to confidently make a change in the space and God is replacing the gurus the people that have been there for a long time the people that have dominated the industry with you you are that new thing right so this word today is connected to that but it's on a more personal level for you that was more career related industry related today it's going to be on a more personal level what God is doing in your life so in this dream, I was in my old apartment slash townhouse. I don't even know what, what, what to call it. Um, yeah, it's a townhouse, I think. <laughs> anyway, I used to live there and I was in this in waking life. So I was there, but uh, in the dream, it didn't look like it, but it was the place. You know, when you just feel like that's where you are, but it doesn't look the same. And I was there with uh, one of my sisters and we were doing things. It felt like we were just... Um, in that mode of moving things around like we weren't chilling we weren't settled it was just stuff needed to be done because i needed to go right um so then i remember we were waiting for my other sister and and the sister that i that i was with we we're waiting for her husband for some reason and um then i heard the sound of little children and i thought oh my other sister's here with all the children i was so excited i just wanted to see my kids um, and her kids and then they approached but it wasn't my sister and all our children no <laughs> it was an old friend someone that used to be my friend and she had these kids with her they were not hers it's like she was babysitting or watching them or she this was like her responsibility um, and um, yeah I didn't recognize any of the children but I recognized her and it was awkward between us because our relationship um, it was just one of those relationships that had to end because the Lord was leading me somewhere else. So um, I, I felt awkward in the dream with her there and she didn't uh, greet me. And I just kept thinking, I wonder if she's going to greet me, you know. 
um, not out of arrogance, like it, it just was the question that came up in my mind in the dream, like I wonder if she'll greet me. And then um, I remember one of the children started crying that she was with because I was a stranger and I was like, okay, this is my cue to leave because from the beginning of the dream, I knew that I was just doing whatever I was doing and then I had to go. And just before uh, this ex friend of mine came in with the children, I was already taking my bag to go. So now with this child crying because this stranger, which was me, was there, I then took my bag to leave and then she came up to me to kind of greet me and we had like this half hug and I was like playing with the child that she was holding, but it was so awkward between me and her. It just was like this weird, awkward hug. And um, I just knew that, you know, I had to leave. So that was the dream. Now, um, oh, there was, there was a confidence. I remember that very, very clearly. I felt quite confident in the fact that I needed to go in myself. I didn't feel like I had to try and mend this relationship with her or anything like that. There was just this confidence that I knew where I was headed to. And yeah, I, I just had to go. So now what the Lord was showing me, um, like I said, the two dreams are connected, one on a career level, the other one on a more personal level. Um, let's go to my notes. You know, very often when I write my notes, <laughs> I write the things correctly <laughs> as opposed to trying to improvise. Okay, so basically what the Lord is showing us through this dream, right, is that there are things for those who this word is for you are in a transitional space at the moment you've been in that transitional space whether it's a spiritual transitional space or physically you're just in this temporary space you may have a short-term lease where you're at or you're staying at a friend's or something it's just a temporary situation god has you in that transitional space and you've been there and he's saying get ready because you are going to be leaving that transitional space soon you actually um is actually saying he's going to give you your cue that is the key thing God will give you your cue so watch out for any awkward um, situations that make you feel a bit uncomfortable um, things from your past cropping up um, that may come in the form of, a, that, of something that want that you may want to get back in connection with but it just doesn't feel right you can feel that awkwardness like i was with um, my friend it was like or someone who used to be my friend rather um there was just this awkwardness in the way that we hugged each other and it just wasn't we were not connecting at all and um the children that she was with not warming up to me the one even crying the lord is saying certain things are going to come up that are going to be your cue that it is time to go and when that happens you need to be prepared that bag needs to be packed <laughs> whether it's a physical bag or your mental <laughs> handbag suitcase whatever it is you need to be at a point where you are prepared to move at any time and this move can be a physical move it can be a, a mental shift into something else um, it could be a shift into a new job, into a new career, uh, coming out of something that you should probably be out of already. So because you're in this transitional space, you probably are out of whatever you should have been out of. Um, we can only hope. Um, so like I said, God is going to give you your cue. Beware, watch out for those awkward attempted connections, things popping up from your past, popping up from your past that... Um, maybe almost tempting but but god is saying you're going to have the sensing in you that this is definitely not something that you need to get involved in at all you're not going to have that pull in fact it's going to give you even more assurance and more confidence in the fact that you cannot stay where you are that it is time to go so this word is specifically about that cue god is going to give you your cue he says um don't get attached when those things from your past come up do not get attached because it won't ever feel comfortable it felt awkward um trying to connect with my friend and i sense the lord saying to me it will continue to be awkward it will continue to be uncomfortable so you just got to move forward in confidence right move on with confidence i wrote here and then the lord gave me the scripture proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 trust in the lord with all your heart do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. 
this is a time where you need to be very very much in tune with what the Lord is saying to you because you're going to be taking instructions from him what you need to do how you need to uh, move ahead move forward uh, move from where you are get going take your bag and go you will need specific instructions and God is going to give them to you do not depend on your own understanding don't try and figure it out yourself that's something that the Lord has challenged me with recently because I've been trying to figure out how certain things are going to happen it's so impossible for what God is telling me is going to happen to happen it is so impossible in the worldly terms worldly standards but according to God's standards it is possible and only he knows how it's going to come to pass I don't have a clue and the Lord showed me weeks ago he said don't even try and figure it out because doing that um, I'm constantly thinking about the situation constantly trying to figure out it's bringing up anxiety bringing up worry and bringing up doubt because it's like you just keep playing the scenario and you don't see how it's gonna happen so all this doubt starts to creep in and it becomes the stronghold in your life so I had to surrender I was like okay Lord I guess I can rest from this I don't have to know what the steps are I thought I needed to know I thought I needed to have the answer so that I could move in faith and God is saying no he only he knows how this is going to happen he's not revealing it to you you just have to trust don't lean on your own understanding just trust in the Lord with all your heart as long as you seek his will in all that you do he will show you which path to take seek God's will Lord what is your will for me in this situation and he will show you the path okay um, this scripture was really really profound to me today just wanted to add that so that's the word friends um, this Friday end of the week I know my week has been so busy um, and like I said in yesterday's video I'm going to be quite um, occupied for the next few weeks four to five weeks so bear with me things are gonna be a bit sporadic um, I was actually thinking that on Tuesday because um, I do the dream interpretation choose teachings on Tuesdays I haven't had a chance to record the next video so this coming Tuesday there will be a a I'll do a live I will do a live um, dream interpretation teaching um, session and we'll talk about what I've already shared with you guys um, in terms of that series or everything that's come up um, so if you guys haven't watched those videos go ahead and watch them and we can dive into you know understanding your dreams we'll talk about what different people mean in your dreams um, you guys can come with your questions and I will try and answer as many questions as possible as led by the Holy Spirit on that live feed so um, I look forward to doing the live I think instead of just leaving you guys hanging with no video on Tuesday because I haven't prepared one um, I will come on and and do that live so I'll see you guys next week Tuesday I will let you know what time the live will be it will probably be um, well I'm in South Africa so it will probably be later at night for me um, if you are in the US most of my viewers are in the US um, there is a six hour difference between South Africa and people that are in the Eastern Standard Time Zone um, and then obviously it, it depends what time zone you're in um, you would have to just google it and just see what time it'll be but I will put those details out so you guys can figure it out um, in time or I'll just put it up on YouTube and I know that YouTube will show you what time you need to be on yeah <laughs> I hope I made sense but friends I pray that you all have a wonderful weekend um, just stay encouraged in the Lord I know that sometimes things can be so tough and so intense but stay encouraged God is opening doors he's doing this he's shifting things for so many of you and for those of you who are not in that season of what I'm talking about here today stay encouraged because God is taking you through your own process you may be still be in the wilderness you may be right at the very beginning you've just accepted Christ stay encouraged because God is going to take you on a beautiful journey what the best advice I can give you if you're at the very start of your walk you just accepted Christ is be open to what the Lord is teaching you when you find yourself in difficult times going through challenges some difficulties just ask God this one question what is it that you want me to learn in this situation Lord what are you showing me when you have that attitude that receptive openness 
you will go through all of those things quickly as opposed to resisting and trying to fight and thinking why is everything so bad and you trying to um, make things better for yourself with your own human strength you're just going to be there longer until you realize oh wait god is trying to show me something he's trying to teach me he's refining me um we only really grow when we're going through challenging times that's when we have the most growth so ask yourself what is the lord trying to teach me here what is the growth outcome that the lord wants and then allow god to do that you know be a partner with him through that because you'll get through that um quicker and when i say quicker when you have a positive attitude things tend to go quicker because you're not fighting when you're fighting you just want it to end already so it feels longer so if, if you get what i mean it's like this whole mental psych psychological thing <laughs> okay guys i'm going to let you go before i keep rambling anymore um remember that you are so special to god he's such a good father and he loves you so so much have a good weekend guys i'm in a race right to the start they tried and left me